Okay, so here is the final Sailor Jupiter. Doesn't she look amazing? I certainly think so. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Today, I have an unboxing and a how-to for you with some tips and tricks. I am going to be unboxing and putting together my Dolphy dream doll of Sailor Jupiter. I am so excited to see her. She's been sitting in this box for a very long time, and I just haven't had time to actually sit down and put together these Dolphy dream dolls. The thing that I have learned about these dolls over the course of my educating myself on them is that they take some work to put together. They are expensive. They are very hard to find now. So I put these together and I take my time and I'm doing separate videos for each one. So you have seen my Sailor Mars video, which I released like a year and a half ago. So I'm really excited to bring the rest of the inner Sailor Guardians to you. Unfortunately, I do not have Sailor Moon. I kind of walked into the whole Volks Dolphy Dream dolls thing a little bit late. So the first one I got was Sailor Mars. And then I was able to get these on release for Sailor Venus and Sailor Jupiter. And then Sailor Mercury was resold on the Volks website, so I was able to grab her too for the regular MSRP price. Unfortunately, Sailor Moon now, she's easy to find on resale websites like Mercari, Yahoo Japan, eBay, but she's extremely expensive. So this is the Sailor Jupiter box. She costs 63,000 yen. So yes, that is about 600 USD plus shipping. She also has a school uniform. This is the school uniform, which you had to purchase separately. The school uniform was 7,800 yen. So 70 bucks or so USD. If you purchase these from the Volks Japanese website, you cannot just go there and purchase them. Oh no, usually you have to do a lottery unless they do make them publicly available. Sometimes they sell these at events in Japan, in Tokyo. If that's the case, you have the option to go there, then that's a really easy way that you can grab one of these. If they don't, however, sometimes you have to enter a lottery system for the privilege of purchasing either the school uniform or the doll, or hopefully you get lucky and you can get both. Now, depending on how long it takes me to unbox her and put her together, I may show you the school uniform on her at the end, um, but chances are I'll do a separate video just showing the school uniform because this is a whole nother process of getting into that. Oh, and by the way, I do want to add in some tips and tricks during this video. So if you are new to Dolphy Dream Dolls, definitely watch all the way through because I do have some really important personal experience tips and tricks of things that I highly recommend that you should do with your dolls. Okay. Let's go ahead and unbox her. Oh, by the way, before I open her all the way, the dolls on the top, they don't have any clothes on. So if you don't wanna see this doll with no clothes on, just skip ahead. Here is Sailor Jupiter. She was just attached with some little latches. So you don't have to knife them or anything, which means you're not going to run the risk of damaging the body. She's really tall, jeez. Okay, I'm gonna set her box to the side because it's huge. I've had like a stack of these boxes sitting in my studio for a year. <laughs> and it's, I've been meaning to do this for a long time. I just haven't gotten around to it. All right, so I'm gonna unbox all of her accessories first, and then I will show you each one and we will start putting her together. These are attached to the external cardboard. So I'll just unattach that. I'm gonna leave her wig in the hairnet for a moment just to keep it from getting wrinkled or damaged. Here's her shiz. They have actual laces. How cute is that? And here we have her tiara as well as her transformation wand. Everything is packaged separately. In here we have her gloves, hair dongles, little hair balls and we have her choker and her bow and her earrings which i will keep in the plastic wrap so i don't lose them this is a pamphlet which describes the skeletons that come inside of these dolls i wanted to point this out with sailor jupiter you have Dolphy Dream Sister, which is the size of the rest of the Sailor Senshi. Height is 545 millimeters. Then you have Dolphy Dream. Sailor Jupiter is Dolphy Dream Doll. Her height is 570 millimeters. This describes how to put your doll together. So we have an inventory. 
We have a cute little pose that you can set her as. Then we have some information about how to put together her earrings, how to dress her and put on her wig, and then how to put on her tiara and her little hair bobbles. Last things last, we have the Fuku. So here's her Sailor Jupiter uniform. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the uniform so I can get her dressed. So you take the collar off so you can make all the clasps really easy to get to. This is a full leotard, so this includes the piece that goes in between her legs. So slide it on like so. I try to get it over her bottom. These are pretty form-fitting, so you will have to adjust as necessary. Then I put her hands through before I slide it over her shoulders. Oh, see here how her hand came out a little bit? Just press it back in. Really easy. Your boobs are pointy, Sailor Jupiter. Okay, now we got this on her. So reminder, this is very form-fitting. So when you do put it on her, you'll probably have to adjust as necessary and make sure not to pull too hard on these clasps because they are just sewn on with like a few pieces of thread. So it's pretty easy to rip them off. So I'm gonna go ahead and clasp all of these on and I'll tell you a little bit more about these sailor characters while I'm putting on the rest of her outfit. Her body, as you could probably tell, is fairly flexible. It's pretty squishy. It's kind of like a vinyl type of material. These pieces, her arms, her legs, her torso, they can all be replaced if you happen to damage them in any way. If they get stained by, for example, this dark green color of her skirt, or if they get stained by the vinyl of her shoes or anything like that, you can always replace those pieces. Yes, that will cost you some money, but luckily they do have those pieces available because this is just the Dolphy Dream body. The really important part is her head. This is the Sailor Jupiter head and it is extremely hard to find a replacement. If you wanted to get a replacement for her, you would have to buy a whole new Sailor Jupiter Dolphy Dream doll. And since she costs over $600, you probably don't want to do that. So make sure to protect her head. That is the most important piece. So the next piece I like to put on is her collar. This just has a few clasps on the front and the back and they just clasp into place. Put on her bow. The bottom piece is a little bit longer than the top piece. The easiest way that I have found to do this is to stick a finger right underneath the front of her fuku to apply some pressure from behind the clasp and then just move it into place and snap it onto the front, which we do next. The choker, choker's pretty easy. Oh my gosh, does this thing even fit? It almost doesn't fit around her neck. It's such a tight fit. I pulled off her head just a little bit, as you can see here, and I'll squish her head back down, right back onto her neck, no issues there. I was able to get that clasp on there by sticking it right at the top of her neck, moving it into place, and then just pushing down on it so that it doesn't look weird. I'll save the head for last because that's the hardest bit. So her shoes are like Barbie shoes. There's a left and a right. So you kind of just look at them to determine which one is left and which one's right, and then put them on the correct feet. And they should just slide right on, fix the tongue in case it gets folded over, and zip them up. Ta-da! Same thing with her second shoe. Slide it on, zip it up and then make sure that the bows are tied. Perfect. She looks good. Okay, this is a really good looking doll. I'm very excited. Next we have the gloves. So there's a couple of ways that you can put on gloves on a Dolphy Dream doll. Their hands are very poseable and they move around quite easily. So it can be kind of irritating to put on gloves. I'll show you what I do though, because I think this works really well. So I lay her down, apply pressure against the table and use that to push the glove onto her hand. Should be pretty easy to determine which one is left and which one's right. This one looks like it belongs on her left hand. So I'll do this one first. So when I apply pressure to press this down onto her hand, I try to get all of her fingers inside the glove and then I use my own fingernails to move her fingers into the correct compartments for each of the fingers. I try to get her top three fingers down first and then get her pinky and then her thumb. This does require a little bit of patience and just a little bit of detail work in order to get them on there. Thumb is being a little bit of a beach over here, so shove that in there. Okay, it feels like all of her fingers are in, so I can just press this down as far as they will go onto her hand and then go ahead and Velcro it. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that one's on. Next we have her other hand. Some people do choose to take off their arms 
when applying gloves, but I just found this to be easier. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Do it whatever way is easiest for you. Slide all the fingers in as far as they will go. Push down on the glove. Okay, we are almost done. We are to the hardest part, which is putting together everything that goes on our head. Because this head is so important to the rest of this doll, there's a couple of ways you can protect her from staining. The first piece is this head cap. This is a large head cap from Volks, and you just slide this onto her head. Hi, Sailor Jupiter. There we go. Now she has her head cap. The other thing I wanted to mention is tape. This is the Volks tape which you can put on items or put on the body in order to protect their body from staining from darker colors and darker dyes. Now the rest of her body can be replaced, so I'm not super worried about it. I'm not too worried, but this is really important and something that I did want to mention because this is from my own personal experience. Sailor Mars was the first one that I got and I got this tape when I purchased her and I put the tape on her head to protect her from staining. This tiara can stain the head of your Dolphy Dream doll because of this material. The back of this paint can easily, easily rub off onto your doll. So in order to protect her, what I do is take this tape and stick it on the back of the tiara. So that was a recommendation from somebody on the comments on my Sailor Mars video. And now I know why, because after I had that tape on Sailor Mars for about a year, and then I removed it to replace it, I found that some of the adhesive material from the back of the tape ended up kind of wearing off onto her. It was something that I could clean up, but it was very annoying to do so and not something that I would recommend doing. You don't wanna to have to replace this stuff every single year, I'm sure. So it's easier to just put some tape on the back of the accessories as opposed to putting it onto the doll itself and then running the risk of having some adhesive adhere to the doll itself and potentially ruin it. So I am putting this tape on the back of my tiara. That is the only place I'm putting tape and in order to do so, I just adhere it like so. I'm gonna tear off this edge and also apply some to the very end. Even though that piece is going to be just touching the head cap, I just want to be safe. This tape you can purchase straight from Volks and it was in stock whenever I needed it, but definitely check back all the time because they're constantly restocking things like tape and body suits. Body suits are another option you can use to protect the skin and the body of your Volks doll. They also have a whole bunch of different stands that are options in case you want to stand up your characters. Now I'm just going to tear off the edges. If you do see some edges of the tape along the tiara, that's okay. It's going to be covered up by her hair, so I'm not too worried about people being able to see the tape. You could, of course, use a knife or use scissors to make this really exact, but I'm just gonna do it this way because it's easy. Okay, now we have the back of her tiara ready to go. And as you can see, when you look at the front of her tiara, it's really hard to see the tape unless you're looking like super closely. And then you just see some edges. That's it. Now let's see what it says about those hair bobbles. Now this recommends putting the hair bobbles in before placing it on her head. Uh, I'm gonna do it the opposite way. I'm gonna put it on her head and then place the hair bobbles so that they don't fall out while I am trying to put this hair on her head. So here's her ponytail. Her hair is pre-styled, so you don't have to do anything with it unless you wanna like change her hairstyle, but it's already in a ponytail. That's a little thingy there. Okay, I'm gonna have to look into cutting that off because that's really annoying that it's like sticking out right there. That's super annoying. I don't feel it on the inside, so I don't know where the end is. I'm gonna leave it there and then just cut it off with some scissors. All right, so here is her hair. She has her long bangs in the front. This is slightly elastic. So what I'll do is kind of stretch it a little bit and then push it onto her head. This part is kind of annoying to do. It's the hardest part to do. So it may take me a few times to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna try putting it on from the front. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay, I just pulled on her bangs to kind of shove it onto the front of her head. I don't want to mess up her hair too much. I feel like there's some motion up there, so I don't think it's on there all the way. Oh, that's definitely crooked. It's not on her head correctly. Let's see if I can adjust that. You can tell if it's all the way on their head because there shouldn't be very much movement or hollow space between the hair wig and her head. And it feels like it's on there all the way, so I think I got it on without too much work. 
Her hair is a mess though, so I need to fix it. Okay, so she's got some uh, very long bangs. I need to fix her bangs. They are all over the place at the moment, <laughs> but I do have it even now. I think I need to recurl those. They aren't very curly. You can see her head cap on there, but it's not too bad. So I do need to adjust that. And looks like her ponytail didn't get messed up too much, but it feels like she's on there all the way. All right, look at that glue. Ew. Okay, I think I have her hair on. So moving on to the next step, which is putting in those hair bobbles. I'm gonna sit her down for this part. So there's two hair bobbles that go on the top right there and the second one. Okay, cool. That's not too hard. They aren't close enough together though. I'm not happy with that. I'll put them a little bit closer together. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Okay, that looks good. All right, now we have Sailor Jupiter's Hair is done, yay! Okay, I do need to clip that little piece of plastic out of her hair so that it's not sticking out, but otherwise, the uh, last thing to do is her tiara. These I always put in between the cap and her wig. I think I got it on, okay, I think we're good. Okay, that's some hard work. Especially if you're in a studio with a bunch of lights. <sighs> It's a workout, man. Okay, I think she is um, pretty much ready to go. Her earrings are gonna be a little bit tougher to put in. I did Sailor Mars's earrings with a needle and I was able to place them correctly. That takes some work though, and it requires a little bit of patience. So I'm gonna do that after recording. Otherwise, I think she's pretty much complete. So the last thing to do is grab a stand and put her on her stand so I can pose her. Okay, so these are the stands that I really like to use. These are saddle stands or C-stands. These can be adjusted height-wise to however tall your doll is. So I'll have to adjust this one a little bit taller on her, but it basically allows her to balance on top of the C-stand. And then she has a lot of movement. She's able to be posed in a lot of different ways without anything being seen or clamped onto her center like you would normally get with a doll stand. Yeah, that's pretty close. This is fun. <laughs> I'm 35, I don't care. Okay, so here is the final Sailor Jupiter. Doesn't she look amazing? I certainly think so. She's absolutely gorgeous. I love her ponytail. I love how curly it is. So it's very accurate. Looks really, really pretty. And then the hair bobbles just totally make it. I mean, so adorable. The choker was very hard to get on there, but once it was on, it looks perfectly fine. I really like her shoes too. The attention to detail on these dolls just totally makes them worth it. And I think they are absolutely gorgeous. So she is going to be joining the rest of the inner guardians that I have been able to get my hands on. The only one again that I am missing out of the current lineup of Volk's Dolphy Dream Dolls is Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon is currently very hard to find and very, very expensive. She's like $2,000, even though the original cost was under 1,000, like way under 1,000. So it's gonna take me a while to get Sailor Moon because I have to save up for that one. I am really happy that I was able to pay basically retail prices plus a small proxy fee in order to get the rest of these. Sailor Mercury, I was able to purchase straight through the Volks website when she was re-released. So you might get lucky and see a re-release of these Inner Sailor Guardians, but currently none of them are available online at MSRP. Girl, you are tall. I love messing with their hair, but I don't wanna mess with hers too much because it's already curled and styled. So I'm like trying not to touch it, but I do wanna like fix it and kind of put it into place properly. It's just so pretty. Let me know if you have any questions about the Dolphy Dream dolls. Let me know if you want any more information about how to purchase them or what the accessories are that come with them or how to take care of your dolls. I've learned a lot in the past like year and a half as far as like how to take care of them and how to display them stuff of that nature. So definitely let me know if you're curious about this collaboration. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy these kind of videos and if you enjoy seeing unboxings and kind of tips and tutorials about how to take care of different items that you may add to your Sailor Moon collection. More than happy to share whatever expertise I might have. More than happy to share my mistakes because I also make mistakes. We're all human, right? So subscribe, like, comment down below and tell me what your favorite Dolphy Dream doll is that has come out so far. I really hope that they do the Outer Senshi and hopefully that happens, especially now that we have Sailor Moon Eternal. Oh, I'm really looking forward to that if it does happen. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sailor Snubs and I will see you next time. Janet.